Hello class. Okay, so this is how to construct a Lorenz curve from Excel. So I've uh, set out a very simple and very small community of eight individuals and I've given you their incomes and I've already sorted them from the poorest person to the richest person. So you, you need to sort them. Don't forget to do that. And then uh, you also are going to need to know what the total income is because you'll need that to find the percent of income. So down here let's go ahead and get the sum of all the incomes. Okay so that's our total income and now we can begin. So for our Lorenz curve remember the two axes are percent of the population accumulated from 0 to 100. So the way we do that is uh, if you notice I already generated this column, let me just do it over so you can see what I did. So in this column uh, the zero individual, which sounds really weird, has zero percent of the population. It sounds weird but you need that uh, zero point for the construction which will be obvious later. So don't worry about that cell at the moment. And then this individual right here, the first individual, is um, you do it like this. This person divided by the total number of individuals was 8. I'm just going to go ahead and nail down that cell. And then I'm going to multiply it by 100 to get it into percent. All right. So the first individual represents 12.5 percent of the total population and the first two individuals would then be 25 percent of the population and so forth. So uh, you can tell you did it right because the first eight individuals, which would be all of them, would represent 100 percent of the population. All right, so this will be uh, one set of numbers for my uh, Lorenz curve and then I need percent of income. Now I have to do that in two steps. Let me show you why. Percent of income. So the first zero individual has zero percent of the income. That's obvious. And then this individual right here, let's see what they have. That individual has an income of 5,000 and as a percent divided by the total, which is that number down there, and times that by 100. So that individual has 1.204% of all the income. And then this, the second individual has 2.89% of all the income and so forth. Like that, right? So the richest person, the eighth individual, the richest person, has 30 per, 36 percent of all the income. But that column is not exactly what I need for the Lorenz curve. Remember the Lorenz curve is going to plot out the accumulated percent of income and the accumulated percent of the population. So I already have the accumulated percent of the population. This is the first person, this is the first two people, this is the first three people and so forth. This is the first eight people. But that's not what I have here. This is the income of the first person and this is the income of the eighth person. So what I need is the accumulated percent of the income. So again that one's a zero. And then the first person kind of stands by himself. right? And then this one would be, okay watch this now, would be this person right here plus whatever we had before which was that. So this is the income of the first two people, and that's the income of the first three people, and that's the income of the first four people, and so forth. And if I've done it right, the income of the first eight people better be a hundred, and it is. Uh, sorry, I messed up right there. Okay, so now let's see if we can plot our Lorenz curve. So the way you do that is you go over here to the Insert tab, and you got to choose one of these things. Uh, the best one is this, uh, let's call it XY plot. And where is that? Oh, it's weird. My graph looks different. Let's see what this says. These are XY plots. So I can't believe it doesn't say that. It just says scatter, but that's what they are. All right. So I'm going to put it over here where you can kind of see what we're doing. Make it as big as I can. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Something like that. Let's see how that is. It's still too big. Now, all right, so here we go. So, 
select my data. So the first thing I'm going to do is the uh, line of equality. Now you could just draw this with one of the drawing tools, but I'm going to go ahead and have Excel plot it out. So for the line of equality, remember, whatever's on the x-axis has to be identical to whatever's on the y-axis. So I'm just going to use uh, this column right here for both of them. So for the x-series would be this, and the uh, y-series would be the same thing. And there's my line of equality. See that? And now I'm going to generate my Lorenz curve, L O. R E N Z, I think is how you spell it. So my X values, now think about that. What's going on, on the X axis is percent of population. That's this. And my Y values are the accumulated percent of the income, which is this. And uh, there we go. So there's my Lorenz curve. Now I can make this a little uh, neater by first, uh, let's see if I can do it. Uh, why won't it let me? I don't want to formulate the plot area. Hold on a minute. Let's click away from that. What I want to do is get this axis to highlight. And then if I right click in there, uh, come on. I want to. Ah, uh, uh, come on. Why did, why did it screw me up like that? Huh. Doesn't want me to do it. Try over here first. Very, very strange. Never seen it do that. Maybe it's this copy program that's kind of messing up my Excel. Uh, I don't want to format the chart, chart area. What I want to do is format the axis. That's what I want to do right there. Okay, so I'm going to, the minimum is good at uh, zero, but I want the maximum number to be just a hundred. There, that solved that one. Let's see if I can do that same thing down here. I think I had to hold it. Never had to hold down the right button before. It's like I have to hold it. And then I want the maximum to be 100 instead of 120. There. So there's my Lorenz curve. Notice if I change these numbers to make them more equal. So let's see. I'm just going to uh, let these guys be like uh, 40,000. And maybe this guy can be 50,000. And let these guys be 60,000. Notice how the Lorenz curve got very, very flat because their incomes are very, very equal. But then if I make this guy instead of 60,000, 600,000, now they'll be unequal again. See how that works? So the Lorenz curve is a tool for measuring inequality. I would uh, like to show you also how to do the Gini index, but it's uh, kind of complicated and it's not really necessary for this class. So you should be in good shape with just this. Okay, I hope you found that helpful.